Hello everyone, this is Narendra Gupta. Welcome to the demo for upgrading of Kubernetes from 1.18 to 1.19 using canonical tools and technologies. So far, we will be doing this on the bare metal servers. So currently we have a mass which has seven bare metal servers. As you can see, no two to nine, 10. Those are the Intel nodes and we have configured the, those servers into a mass. Mass is a lab management system which do the inventory of your hardware as well as do the deployment of your servers with the operating system and configured to be utilized by the Juju. So Juju is a modeling tool to model your solutions and do the deployment, manage and operate your solution after the deployments as well. Currently, as you see, all the deployment has been done, completed, all the Juju Master has been deployed with 1.18.10 version of Kubernetes as well as Juju Worker deployed with 1.18.10 version of uh, Kubernetes as well. So as you can see in the Juju, both the services has been exposed. That means you can access the load balancer API and all the services are active with the respective version information. And you can see in the workload, all the workload has been active. ETC database healthy within known peers. EZRSA has been connected and all the container runtime is running and available. And this is basically a machine view. Similarly, you can see the similar information using the Juju GUI. So here is a GUI basically you can see all the information related to the services, version number, charms, etc. Everything is active, all machines has been started, all relations has been joined and uh, working perfectly. Let's see how does the models look like. So currently we have three models, a controller model with single machine Kubernetes model with seven machine, 10 units and the seven applications. So let's click on the model Kubernetes. You'll get all the information. And as you can see, the version of Kubernetes worker basically is 1.18. You can see after replica, making a replica, we have a 10 nodes now. Let's those nodes running and let's start doing the upgrades. So to Kubernetes 1.19, that's the current version we supported uh, by Canonical and the stable. The charm of each and every systems, we have it since we are using current charm, there's no update, but we'll run this command and change the channel basically to 1.19 stables. So currently it's, we'll see, let's change, start with the master. So let's see current version master, which is 1.18 channel stable. So let's change this channel to 1.19 stable, so that will cause the Juju master unit to start working on the new upgrades. You can see Juju state Kubernetes master. You can see current master is blocked and it says need to do a manual upgrade, run the upgrade actions. So to run the upgrade action, let's, as we mentioned in the script before, let's run the upgrade action on both the masters here and the action has been upgraded, we can always watch the master on the upgrade and it started executing now. Let's put in the watch list. If you can see it started changing the Kubernetes snaps of a different snaps. And once the snaps have been installed, upgraded, then the, now the, all the masters will be upgraded. But we have to make sure you follow the sequence as mentioned in our canonical Kubernetes upgrade guide. So basically first you have to upgrade the masters. First you have to upgrade the ETCD, easy RSA, container D engine, uh, as well as the, the, any other extra services you have deployed. Once those services have been upgraded, make sure you take the backup of the ETCD cluster before doing the upgrades. Once you do that, then you have to move to the Kubernetes master first, which I show you the procedure, change the channel to 1.19. And as you can see, master is still 1.18.10 since it's installing. Once it's installed, configured, everything's working. It's changed the Kubernetes master 
basically to 1.19 and all the workers were still on the 1.18. Once the master will be deployed working, here you go. You have the upgraded version of Kubernetes master 1.93. Once the, all the services, are, all the master services are up, it's not in maintenance anymore, then we can go ahead and do the deployment, do the upgrade of Kubernetes worker. As you can see, the Kubernetes master is 1.19.3 and all the master is running. No issues and all the port forwarding is enabled and we can now browse the Kubernetes ports. Basically, this is the port which is already running. And now we can click on the cluster. So all the cluster workload state is green. All the ports are up and running on the cluster. So we remember we just upgraded the Kubernetes master. I think once Kubernetes once Kubernetes master is up and running and there's no caveat on the master. So let's move to the Kubernetes workers and we have the same process for the Kubernetes workers as well. So let's go to the Kubernetes workers. But in the meantime, let me put in the node. All the nodes are up, node seven. You can see node seven is there and the Kubernetes version is still 118.10. So let's move to working on upgrading the Kubernetes worker. So it's the same process what we did for master, we have to do workers as well. So let's go to change the channel on the worker side now. So once we change the channel, status Kubernetes worker, as you can see, it basically blocks the running and it blocks the upgrade and say, run this upgrade actions, upgrade action on each of the work. So let's try to run the upgrade action as we did for the master node. So you have a way like either you can run this action on one by one. So this is the one way we do the upgrade action. On the first Kubernetes worker node, then the second one, and then the third one. Now you can go through the watch list on the Kubernetes worker node. So you can see it's in started installing the snaps. Master is worker is 118.10. Let's do watch both Kubernetes worker and master. You can see the master is up already. Worker is basically re-executing. And we can still see this Kubernetes port forwarding still enabled. Since it's restart the services, I disable all the port forwarding. And then once all the Kubernetes worker is up and running, it will start the port forwarding. We can do the port forwarding again and look into it. As you can see, the master is already, worker is already 119.3. At least all the workers in the running scenario. It was very fast to do the upgrades on the worker side. So once the worker upgrade is done, then do the port forwarding again, and then you should be able to browse the controller again. Definitely it will be impacted, but if we go through the namespaces overview, you can see all the worker nodes are up now. And if you, all the 10 unit supports are still running and up Let's go into see the nodes and under the node, let's click on some node seven. You can see the upgrade happened to 1.19, 1913 version. So kubelet, kubeproxy, both has been upgraded to 1.19.3. Container is 133, which is the latest available on the system. You can see the kernel version and other details. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.